Canada remained on edge Thursday, a day after a recent convert to Islam fatally shot a soldier at the National War Memorial and then went on a shooting spree through the halls of the federal parliament. As Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper laid a wreath where Corporal Nathan Cirillo was shot, police nearby wrestled a man to the ground and took him away in handcuffs after he tried to breach the crime scene. Canada's parliament was open again for business Thursday, members giving Sergeant-at-Arms Kevin Vickers a standing ovation and hailing him a hero for firing the bullet that killed the shooter. Intelligence officials were still piecing together the events that led gunman Michael Zahaf Babo to go on the rampage and assessing whether more needs to be done to keep the country safe. There obviously was a vulnerability that, uh, that this uh, individual was able to penetrate. Uh, clearly that's uh, not going to be allowed to happen again. Um, so, I mean, you know full well there will be a massive major review by all uh, relevant forces. Police have yet to establish Babo's motive or whether he is somehow linked to Islamic State militants. But the attack Wednesday was the second in just three days in which a radicalized Muslim convert killed a Canadian soldier. While authorities continue to assess the threat, Harper insists his nation will not be intimidated. We will we'll be vigilant, but we will not run scared. We will be prudent, but we will not panic. And as for the business of government, well, here we are in our seats, in our chamber, in the very heart of our democracy and our work. Meanwhile, the ripple effect of the Parliament Hill shooting was felt outside Canada as well. The U.S. Army boosting security at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in Arlington National Cemetery as a precaution. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.